Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create experiments on Google Ads. So the first step, obviously, we need to go to our Google Ads account. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe and you like the video. It really helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you in advance and let's go straight to the point. So once you come here to Google Ads, there is going to be this left hand side gray column over here. Exactly. So you're going to scroll down and you're going to see this option that is called experiments, right? So if you don't see this option, make sure that you select all campaigns from the column all the way on the far left. So once you go to all campaigns, you go on this column, you narrow down, you basically go to experiments, you scroll down and you're going to click to all experiments. Now, how this works is pretty simple, right? So we're going to click here on all experiments. We're going to click here on the plus symbol. So create new experiment. And what we're going to do here is we're going to select the option. So there are a couple of options. If you want to maybe A-B test landing pages, you can go with optimized text ads. If you want to A-B test maybe different videos, then you can go with a video experiment. If you want to measure the uplift of performance max, you can go with performance max experiment. I advise you to go with a custom experiment because that gives you the fluidity to make more than one change. So we are going to click on custom experiment. And then we're going to say here the campaign type is search. So we're going to click continue. And the next thing that the system is going to ask us to do here, once the page loads, so we're going to give our experiment a name. So we're going to name this experiment. In my case, I'm going to run an A-B test on different bidding strategies. So I'm going to name it target CPA versus max convergence, which is what we are going to A-B test for this example. And we need to select our base campaign. So the base campaign means the campaign that we want to experiment with. So we're going to click here the pen and we are going to select our base campaign. So let's say here, I'm just going to select a random campaign. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on save and continue as simple as that. So now what the system did basically is it mirrored this campaign. So you can see here on the left hand side, this campaign is not the original one. It is the duplicate basically it is a mirror campaign of our base campaign so what you can do is you can either click here and make any changes you like so you can change keywords you can change bidding you can change bidding strategy you can change landing pages or in my case for example here i'm going to select this mirror campaign and i'm going to say i want to change the bid strategy so i am going here to select a bidding strategy that I have in mind that I want to A-B test. So in this step, again, you're going to click on this campaign, make any changes that you like or as many changes, basically, as you like. And once you are happy, then you're going to go here all the way up and you're going to click on schedule. You're going to go to the next step, right? So now that the bidding changes are applied, we're going to click on schedule. And in this step, this is the most important step, basically, here. We're going to say to the system, what are the metrics that we want to move? So we are experimenting in our case with two different bidding strategies. I want to see my conversions going up. So the conversions to increase. And I want to see my cost per conversion to decrease, to go down. The next thing experiment split is basically a guide on how you want to split the traffic, right? So 50-50 here means that one time the system will actually serve your original campaign and the next time the next time the system will serve the, the trial campaign right but you can be more conservative for example you can say i want only let's say 10 percent of traffic to go to my trial campaign or you can be more aggressive you can say i want let's say 80 percent of traffic to go to my trial campaign so in my case we are going to leave it on 50 50. Now, under advanced options, right? So there are two options, search-based and cookie-based. So search-based means basically, in very simple terms, somebody types in a keyword or a phrase on Google. The first time he's going to see the base campaign, the next time he's going to see the trial campaign. 
cookie based basically means that the every user will only see one version of the campaign. So if let's say I type the same keyword or the same phrase two or three times, I'm only going to see the same type of campaign. So in my case, I'm just going to go with search based. I don't really care to, let's say, for the user to see a specific version of my campaign. This is more relevant to, I would say, ad copies. And then experiment dates, my recommendation is to keep it as none because we want to keep running this experiment until we get some solid findings. Enable sync means if, let's say, we decide to apply this experiment, do we want, for example, for this experiment to, for these changes to sync to our original campaign, or we want to make the changes manually? So we are going to keep this on. And that's it. We're going to create the experiment. And that's pretty much it, right? So now, what you're going to see basically is the system here is creating the experiment. What we're going to do now to give it some time is we're going to create some more experiments together. So I have basically here the option or I want to create two more experiments that are pretty much similar. So this is going to be my target CPA versus max conversions for a different campaign. And I'm going to follow through the same steps. So the base campaign here, in this case, is going to be a different one. So this one. So we're going to save and continue. And then again, when we reach this phase here, we can make any change we like in this campaign. That's why I told you go with custom uh, experiment and don't select optimize text or a different option. So in our case, we want to change the bit strategy. And I'm going to select one that I created specifically for this campaign. And once we apply that, we are going to basically go to the next step, which is the scheduling step. Let's actually wait maybe a couple of moments here for the system to update. So we're going to go now here to schedule. And once we click on schedule, same drill, I'm going to say that I want basically my conversions to increase and I want my cost per conversion to decrease. I'm going to run a search based experiment, no end date, enable sync, and I'm going to create. And let's create a third one. Just go through the drill one more time. So maybe here to understand better which campaign is which experiment is for which campaign. I'm going to change the name. So I'm going to go again with a custom experiment, search, then same drill. So target CPA versus max conversions. And then this is for a different campaign. I'm going to select my base campaign here. So this is my base campaign, which I think is okay this one is the enabled one then i'm going to save and continue same drill again in this step you can literally change anything you want and that's why i told you go with custom experiment one more time so in my case i'm going to select this i'm going to change the bit strategy here and i'm going to pre-select a bit strategy that i created so we'll wait for a couple of seconds now here for the system to update this mirror campaign. And then we're going to click on schedule. And once we click on schedule, we're going to decide how we're going to split the traffic, the time frame of the campaign and the metrics that we want to move. So now that the system updated our campaign, I'm going to say here that I want to see the conversions basically increasing. And I want to see the cost per conversion decreasing. I want to run a search based experiment and I want to enable sync in case I want to apply this experiment to my campaign. So now the system is creating this experiment, right? So when you go to your, let's say campaigns, what you're going to see is you're going to see both your original campaign and your experiment campaign. So you can see here that I have my experiment campaign here. And you can see this lab bottle next to it. 
So the normal campaigns will just have this dot, this green dot. The experiment campaigns will have this lab bottle on the left next to them, right? And if you want to see how your experiment is going, two ways. Obviously, you can just look at your statistics and you can compare base with trial campaign, or you can go to experiments here. And what you can actually do is you can click on your experiment and then the system will actually tell you what are the results. If let's say in our case, we said that we want to see conversions increasing and cost per conversion going down. So the system will tell us basically here what is the situation. And if we want, we can cancel the experiment if it doesn't work, or we can apply the experiment once this is running, right? And that's how you can apply experiments and you can actually manage them. So let me actually give you one more example here. So I want to show you maybe an example of an experiment that is running so that you can actually have visibility on how the results are communicated, right? So once you run the experiment, I think I have an account here that it has basically an experiment. So let me actually show you very quickly. So I think under this account, we run certain experiments that are active. So we're going to come here to all experiments. And we can click here on this experiment that you see is in progress. And then the system is going to communicate the results. So it's going to tell you that based on the performance as of now, your cost per conversion decreased on your trial campaign by 12% and the number of conversions increased by 9%. And this is exactly what we want to see. And you can actually see here on the bottom, we have the base campaign and we have the trial campaign, right? So we can even compare basically the results in terms of conversions, cost per conversion and so forth ourselves. So now for this experiment, marginally, my trial campaign is marginally winning. I'm going to let it run maybe for another couple of weeks to collect more data. Once I collect more data, maybe I want to calculate statistical significance. And if I'm happy, I'm just going to click on apply experiment. If I'm not happy, I'm going to end the experiment. That's about it. So that's how you can run experiments on Google Ads. Make sure you experiment with landing pages, maybe ad copies, responsive search ads, bidding strategies, keywords, keyword match types, or anything that you feel is going to move the needle. If you found value on this video and you learned something new, please like and subscribe. It really helps tremendously to create new content. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.